Okay guys, so I am at the airport headed to New Orleans for my 25th birthday. Fun fact, I dreaded it. Passenger Summers, passenger I turned 25, I 25, I was like, oh. Now I'm gonna like welcome it, or at least try to. So, I thought I would be somewhere international right now, but with COVID-19, it's a great thing that I get to explore more of the US. I've been to New Orleans before. It's actually one of my favorite cities in the United States. So, and I'm actually not traveling solo. I'm traveling with my friend, Paul, who you will see. So, let's get into what New Orleans has to offer. I'll see you there. Okay, guys, I made it to New Orleans. And, oh God, that's because I was sleeping on my forehead. <laughs> And shadow but as promised here is paul so let, what else do you want to tell them we're here in nola is it your first wait wait this, i have to focus it is it your first time this is my first time um i think after this trip i'm i'm good with u.s um, u.s destinations okay um where have you been I've been to, well, I live in New York, so I've been to D.C. multiple times, I've been to Chicago multiple times, I've been to L.A. multiple times, I've been to Portland, I've been to uh, Delaware, Detroit, Nashville, Cali, Ca uh, Cali, Miami, Atlanta, Charlotte. <laughs> so, so you've been around the world. I've been around, around the U.S. The U.S. Louisville. Um, yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, I've been to Utah. I've been to Nebraska. <laughs> I've been to Idaho. Forgot about those. <laughs> I've been. Yeah, pretty pretty much. Well, so he's visit. You visit a lot of U.S. states. So yeah. Nola's like, and Nola's one of the best. So hopefully, this is everything and more. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna give you guys a room tour really quick. So that's the door. This is where at Magnolia Hotel. It's so cute. It's quaint. Oh, a TV. And this, I think I'm gonna use this space to work out because I still have to work out. I'm gonna do some Pilates. Bed, the parking lot. All right, let me show y'all the bathroom where the real magic happens. Oh, this is the closet. Fun fact, never use hotel safes. Oh, lovely. Oh, great lighting. Period. Here's the shower and thing. Did they give us soap? Yes. All right, that is Magnolia Hotel. We're gonna be here for four days. Paul's actually leaving a day ahead of me, like before me. So I'm gonna spend an extra day in New Orleans. Super excited because this is my 25th birthday. I have always feared turning 25, but it's finally happening. I'm getting older um, and I'm just welcoming it. Um, I actually turned 25 after I leave New Orleans, which is funny, um, the day after I leave. But yeah, we're going to have a great time and we're going to take you guys with us. So, stay tuned for tomorrow. Alright y'all, we are headed to Birdie Mart, which is supposedly got the best pole boys. I heard the grapevine. Paul we'll is, see, we'll see. I'll be the judge of that. You know, Paul is um, very critical when it comes to food. He went to chef school and study dietetics so we'll see i want to see if it's better than gilbin's because you know gilbin's was a lie gilbin's is a place in philly um uptown so we're gonna see but i'm gonna show you guys the french quarter <laughs> you know gilbin's was delicious to see right now it's not really popping it's gonna be popping this weekend though because it's Memorial Day weekend but yeah so we'll show you the food to let in with a review 
to let you know if it's the best pole boy we've ever had. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I found this little house. So we got pole boys. The fries are hot, regular. The pole boy is like supposed to be the best. We have to see. We're on Royal Street. Royal Street, I believe. In the first quarter. So I'll be back with the pole boy. So the pole boy's good. It was like fourteen dollars. I don't know if I would say it's the best I've had, but it's good. I'm about to get your Paul's reaction. Oh shit! Damn shrimp came out. <laughs> All right. First bite. <laughs> it's good, right? Good. It's Skepters. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. Even though I told them not to put tomato on my my um thing. It was it was disorganized. Birdie Mart is a little crazy. You gotta go at the right time. People was getting irritated. Oh. Fully dressed shrimp pole boy. Paul. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all back at the hotel. I got to chow down. Good morning. We are headed to the World War II Museum. It is a beautiful day here in NOLA. So excited. We're in the French Quarter. Paul's getting something to drink. The lights this way. But yeah, super excited. So, camera's a little dirty. Sorry. Super excited. I love history. Um, this is day one of my birthday trip, so really looking forward to having a great time. World War II Museum is supposed to be one of the best in the country, so we'll see what it's in for.
loved it. Learned a lot about the importance of land to the South. I mean, I kind of always knew that, but it was just interesting to see. Very empty museum, uh, which is what I like. Much more quieter than the World War II Museum, which is directly across the street. You can show them directly across the street. Loved it. It was about thirteen dollars and fifty cents. We ordered our tickets in advance, which we definitely could walk up and um, purchase your tickets. Now we're headed to take some photos, and then we're gonna head to lunch. See you soon. All right, Papas. How has it been so far? Day one in New Orleans. It's been great. It's hot, which I expected. Um, the people here are very nice, which I expected. Um, it's very chill. Probably more chill than usual. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, so, this is Tsunami. Tsunami was great. Um, we just had lunch. We got to head to the hotel. Black. from the airport, uh, my Lyft driver told me to go to do a swamp tour, and he recommended one. Um, so, they only pick up from certain hotels. This one is just like a five minute walk from ours. So, super excited, because it was not expected, it was not planned. It was like $37 a person. No, more like $40 a person, but you can get the ticket on, um, Groupon, then you can arrange transportation directly with the company. I'm gonna put all the information in the description box of description box of this video, so don't worry. And yeah, let's see the swamps of New Orleans. So we have made it to Jalapy Swamp Tours. We're about to go on a 90 minute swamp tour. Some alligators and getting to nature. Really excited. Cause it's gonna last me to addition to our trip. So let's go.
So, so sorry for the last in footage. I actually got extremely sick. I got extremely sick uh, my last day. I'm talking to the point of shivering, chills, um, extreme lethargy. At first I was like, I thought it was related to my iron because I am anemic. Um, so I started like taking foods that were like rich in iron. I went and got some iron pills that didn't work. Then I thought, oh my God, do I have COVID? Uh, <laughs> but I'm feeling a lot better now. I took some Tylenol. I literally stayed in bed like my entire last day, um, which was my full last day was Sunday. Today's Monday, May 31st. Um, I'm about to head to the airport soon, but it was extremely sick. But besides the sickness, New Orleans was amazing. Um, absolutely love this city. Uh, yeah, this was a great birthday for 25 my word is money trying to make that money and two less is more i've learned that a lot of times i try to like overdo things i definitely felt like i overexerted myself this trip constantly going drinking a lot of alcohol doing a lot of stuff i'm um, trying to make the most of my time and money that's what i'm all about um but that's not always fair to my body so I am taking into my 25th year of life less is more I'm definitely going to not do as much but focus really focus in on um, really focus in on travel and regarding like me opening my travel business so that's my big 25th birthday announcement I am opening my travel agency see the information down in the description box um, and focusing on black rural traveler trying to get back out there coronavirus you know stopped the world for a year pretty much so I'm super excited to get back out there and to help you all achieve your travel goals and your travel dreams um yes super excited for my health that's another big thing that i have to take in at 25 like i thought it was over for me i thought i was like in this hotel bed right here and i was like shaking and like really about to cry um but i feel so much better 
So, thank y'all so much for watching this vlog. I will be back. I don't have any trips planned for my actual birthday month. Um, I can't believe I'm turning 25, but I will be back on my next video. Make sure you check out my travel blog, blackgirlworldtraveler.com for tons of free travel resources. Make sure you check out my travel agency, Penny Packer Travels. See the information in the description box. And also make sure that you go out and see the world. This world is beautiful. No matter how far or close you travel, all travel is travel. I love y'all so much. Thank you for the support. Please make sure you subscribe. We are trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I can monetize this channel. And I will see y'all in my 25th year of life. Peace.